this video we will discuss the problem hungry pizza lovers the problem says that domino's pizza has hungry customers which are waiting in a queue right and each order is placed by a customer is uh, identified by unique order id right so every order that is placed the first order that will be placed will have order id 1 the second order will have order id 2 the third order will have order id 3 apart from this there is xi and yi also given to you right so what is xi xi is the time at which the customer places the order and yi is the total time that is taken uh, for this order to complete right so let's try and understand this in terms of a better manner so if there is an ith order right so if the ith order is there so with respect to ith order you will have array of i0 right and you'll also have array of i1 right array of i1 now what does this indicate so array of i0 indicates that the time at which the order is placed right time at which order is placed right and uh array of i1 is what a uh, time taken for order to complete right right the, this is the time taken for the order to com uh, complete get completed now what is the total time what is the total time total time is nothing but what total time is nothing but rf i0 right that is at the time at which i order the uh, i give the current order right and rf i1 addition because uh, the total time taken right because the total time taken will be nothing but the time at which i am placing the order and the, the number of minutes that it takes to complete the order right so the overall time like at which i will receive this order is rf i0 plus rf i1 right and now what this is problem say the problem says that i have to tell that which orders i'll be receiving first of all right so let's try and uh, quickly have a sample example let's say if the sample given to us is 4 comma 1 right then you have been given 6 comma 2 then you have been given 7 comma 6 as i said the time at which you place the order and the number of minutes that it takes for uh, completing the order right so 8 comma 1 and 1 comma 3 right so let's suppose that this is the order number 1 right since this is a zero based indexing so if i is equal to 0 is this so uh, the order number will be 1 that is nothing but i plus 1 right so because you want to uh, have the orders in 1 2 3 order right order number 2 order number 3 order number 4 order number 5 right what is the total time taken for the first order it is 5 the total time taken for the second order is 6 plus 2 that is 8 total time taken for the third order is 13 total time taken for the fourth order is nothing but uh, what 9 total time taken for the fifth order is nothing but 4 now which order is taking the minimum time right so you will see that the order that is taking the minimum time is nothing but the order number five uh, right because it is taking four minutes then the next uh, order which is taking lesser time is order number one it is taking five minutes then the next order which is taking lesser time is order number two it is taking eight minutes then the next order which is taking lesser time is order number uh, four it is taking nine minutes then the next order which is taking the least time is uh, order number three that is taking 30 minutes right so the order uh, in which i'll be delivering is five one two four and three right you can see 5, 1, 2, 4, and 3, right? But the question says that it can also happen that suppose a case like this is there in front of you. Suppose the case is that 2, 3 is there, then suppose 1, 1 is there, and then the next order, let's say, is 3, 2, right? So this is order number 1, order number 2, order number 3. So this order will take 5 minutes, this order will take how many minutes? 2 minutes, this order will take 5 minutes. So first of all, you will consider this order, right? You will consider the order number 2, right? Uh, order number 2 because it is taking the minimum time, right? So you'll say that, okay, I'll consider the first of all the order number 2. Then there is a conflict because the first order is also taking 5 minutes. Second order is also taking 5 minutes. So you'll consider that order which will have lesser order ID. So you'll consider order number 1 and then order number 3, right? And suppose if all the orders had the same uh, ID in that case, uh, like all the orders had same time, let's say 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 1, 1. So in that case, you have order number 1, order number 2, order number 3. So all of them are having the same time, right? So that's why what you will say is 1, 2, 3. Because you will consider in terms of ascending order of order ID, right? So that's what you need to do. So basically, first of all, you will be required to do what? You will require to have a vector int answer, right? You will have a vector int answer that will store nothing but the final answer, the order IDs, right? In which you will be pa passing it. Apart from this, you need to have vector a vector of pairs, right? Vector of int uh, pairs let's say i mark it as order because there will be n orders and with respect to every order what are the things that you need to store with respect to every order you need to store the total time right you will respect to every order you need to store the total time right you need to uh, store nothing but the total time first of all and then you also need to have the to uh, you also need to have what you also need to have the order id along with it right so with respect to the total time you need to have the order id so for you will be sorting out according to the total time first of all and then if there is a conflict between the total time if the total time is same for multiple orders then you'll sort according to the lesser order id right so that's why you will take a pair right so what i'll do is for i i'll say that for int i starts from zero i is lesser than n i plus plus right i'll iterate through the orders and i'll say that total sum that is int let's say uh, sum or the total time int total time total time is what total time is equal to nothing but array of i0 right array of i0 
plus array of i1 right array of i0 plus array of i1 that will be the total time that will be taken and what i'll say is i need to push it right i need to store it in terms of the ith order so i'll say that uh ith order order of i will be nothing but it will have the total time as the first parameter that is nothing but total underscore time apart from this it also needs to have the order id order id is nothing but if we take a one base indexing then order id will be i plus one right so considering that i starting from zero so first order will be one so that's why i plus one right and then what i'll do is i'll simply say that i need to sort it so i'll say that i need to sort the order so, I, so i'll say that sort order dot begin right i'll say that let's sort the orders in terms of ascending order of first of all the time ascending order of uh, total time taken if the total time taken uh, is same in multiple orders then i'll sort it according to the order id right uh, that is the second parameter so that is uh, something that i'll be doing after this part is done right so i'll simply iterate through the orders right so i'll iterate through all the n orders i start from zero i is less than n i plus plus right this order array uh, order array of pairs i'll be iterating through and order array in the order of i like for the for the ith order right for all the ith order i dot second gives me what i dot second gives me nothing but the order id right and in the end i only only want to return the order id in which i'll be uh giving them the final uh, i need to return in the end i only need to return this thing that is the order id in which i'll be uh, sending back the orders right so that's why what i'll do is i'll say that answer dot push back order id or uh, ith order dot second right order of i dot second that will store the uh, order in which i'll be returning the order according to the time and if the time is same for multiple orders then i'll return it according to the minimum order id right let's try and compile this and see if it works on the samples it seems to work on the samples we are getting the same output let's try and submit it and see if it works on the all the test cases or not so you can see that uh, this problem got accepted right and for doing this particular problem uh, if you will observe so the time complexity overall for doing this particular problem the time complexity will be nothing but order of n log n overall because we are sorting right we are sorting this like apart from this we run order of n for storing the orders first of all in the order pair an order of n another time for uh, storing the orders in the final answer right so overall time complexity will be order of n log n because we were using the sorting and that is taking the most time apart from this the space complexity will also be order of n for this particular approach thank you for watching this video